everybody welcome and welcome back to my channel this is kriti and i am back with another video on my channel about life in denmark actually i ended up having no plan for this week's video and i did not want to break the momentum hence i am finally sharing a story a true story an incident that has happened to me which actually is maybe one of the best experiences actually it is one of the best experiences that i've had here in denmark and i want I wanted to you know share this story for a long time so I'm so happy that I'm finally sharing why it is one of the best experiences because it includes almost having to pay 2000 kroner as uh, as a misunderstanding but let's find out did I pay 2000 kroner or what happened and hey I'm also like wearing some colors I'm adding some color to my Danish life here in Denmark especially during winter time so a little bit color I have this cute earring today I have my Christmas party with toastmasters friends so i'm going to go in 2 hours and i want to make sure that the video is ready in this 2 hours and i'm thinking of you know while i'm talking to you i will also gift wrap we are going to play secret santa and i have bought this game called jenga from tia and i'm going to gift wrap it so i have this wrapping paper here and a scissor and cello tape and the gift so let's begin the video and if you're new in my channel hello big hello i make videos about life in denmark and i've been doing that for last in jan i will complete 3 years yes so please consider subscribing and join my colorful life here in denmark too long introduction so let's get started with this week's video so this experience uh, is that i've had happened to me in 2020 yes during the covid time covid happened everything was locked down and during that time i think as a gift because spending too much time with your partner you really needed a gift right my husband started to work from home and i really wanted a change in my life and what change i did i went to buy my new iphone 3 years ago during covid time i think it was um, i know the date it was april in april i bought my new iPhone 11 Pro Max. So I'm not going to share the name of the company, but it is a Danish company. It's a telecommunication company uh, which provides, you know, mobile and data services. And from there we went to buy my new iPhone. It was definitely expensive, so we didn't uh, want to like buy it in one go. So we decided that we'll go for the install installment and then pay, you know, for I think it was for a year or something or maybe 10 months. And we could get that uh, discount and also the installment based payment with a condition that i switch from that time my latest data provider mobile network that was like a mobile from like a to i moved to the new uh, one where i was buying from where i was buying my new iphone and i i think uh, it was a good deal so we decided so so that i can keep my number but i just change my data mobile from like a to this new company it happened we bought the phone it was there with me and yes i started uh, to have fun with my new phone so while purchasing i definitely told them that my usage includes uh, calling india but there was a misunderstanding that happened because i not only call like india for just like whatsapp call so that i'm just only using you know mobile network or you know using it over wifi i sometimes also call like regular call which is like having an international call and with like a mobile with a particular subscription it was uh, it was allowed like i think certain hours was like free calling my family and i'm one of my best friends living in india so i always call her and sometimes that call goes like for an hour or something so what happened then i came back home i was having fun and i started to have uh, international calls without even realizing that uh, with uh, the current subscription with the new a uh, company actually the calling like india calling was chargeable very big amount like one minute was almost 11 kroner 10 point uh, something i did not know that and i remember like you know telling them that this is my my requirement is calling india and they were like yeah yes, you can call international com countries so there was definitely a miscommunication happened uh, from both side so i started to call having a regular calls with my mom sometimes you know like 5 minutes call and stuff like that then what happened uh, and i i clearly remember one time talking to my best friend for an hour direct call okay 
so it suddenly you know i think the amount goes too high and i think within 20 days what happened i was just outside and i was just walking and then i tried to call my husband or something and then i see that i'm not able to do anything with my phone you know i was not able to have a regular call i was not able to use even mobile data and i'm like what is happening what has just happened and then i came to know that my mobile was blocked yes and i did not know anything next day i went to the store from where i bought my phone and i told them that i think my phone is blocked and i don't know and then they told me it's because you have used the international call too much so you have exceeded the you know the minimum amount that we allow which is 2000 kroner that's why we have blocked so that now you stop calling uh, you know or using the phone so that it doesn't become too much and my first thought was 2000 kroner i mean i was i was like totally like shocked like what is happening i was just uh, making uh, like how i used to do with like a mobile like regular international call sometimes and yeah i remember like one time i called my friend for such a long time and stuff i didn't know that uh, india india calling was not allowed and uh, no i i will not pay <laughs> this is how i was actually panicking with them that uh, i didn't know and i was like why was not i uh, maybe given notification when i was using the international calls in the beginning and it was like again if i'm talking for 5 minutes it's definitely 50 kroner so why was not i informed about it and suddenly it's 2000 kroner and i definitely i don't want to pay it. and uh, they were like you know this is how it is uh, maybe you can write to the customer services and let's see what they decide to do so i came back home and i still remember coming from the store to my home thinking in 20 minutes oh my god why why do i need to pay i don't want to pay that that much this is too much uh, and uh, it's definitely a mistake it's definitely was a misunderstanding because if i was if i knew that it would charge i will not call india calling line so uh, i came back home i told my husband also and then we decided to you know just write a nice email but telling them that it was definitely a case of misunderstanding and i did not know i also wrote to them that hey i'm a new customer i bought this uh, and then i had uh, shifted uh, from lika to your company i would have loved that if you'd have given me prior notification that okay you are using international calls and it is charging you this much uh, why was i not informed but i wrote a very uh, like you know nice email but telling my frustration and complaining and um, i just wrote that it it's it's not a very pleasant experience with uh, the company so and i wrote in the end i still have that email in the end i wrote that can i get some deduction in the payment i can pay some part of it yeah because i didn't have this idea that what will they Uh, come up with so i was ready to pay at least some amount but definitely not 2000 i think i was ready to like even get 50% of deduction so that i can pay 1000 kroner after 2 days i get the email and here is where it is like one of the best experiences they wrote back that even they uh, feel sorry Uh, for this misunderstanding and um, sad to hear that you have uh, having this unpleasant experience with us and then they gave me the solution that uh, it was like around 140 kroner sub- monthly subscription so with the current 140 kroner per month uh, india calling is not included uh, like other countries like some of the countries were included so if you could have added uh, like 29 kroner extra so it becomes like global uh, sub- uh, monthly subscription then it would have been Uh, instead of 10 kroner 1 kroner and they wrote in the email that uh, so instead of going like say for example i think it was like 200 minutes and then into 10 2000 kroner they actually just removed that part that just crap that part out of it and then they went ahead with uh, we are charging you like only so we'll ask you to pay 29 kroner extra so that then the amount becomes for 200 uh, minutes instead of 2000 it becomes 200 and something and i was like really i was so happy to just you know have this experience where they understood that it was a misunderstanding it was uh, just you know like from both parties i was even ready to pay as i wrote that i can uh, pay some part of it i was thinking maybe they'll waive off maybe 1000 so you pay half but when i received the email and it was like you only pay 200 and something and uh, add 29 kroner extra for your monthly subscription so that you can call 
all india i was so happy i was so happy that day after receiving the email it was like a very big relief i was just so happy uh, to have their solution where you know they trusted me and that my complaint was genuine and that's where you know the trust factor comes in this country where yes they trust you that if you're telling it that it was a misunderstanding and uh, you didn't know and uh, you know this could have happened and we ac- accept that yes we could have reached out to you before it it, it reaching 2000 kroner they just accepted it and they provided the best solution for both of us because it's about again you know having a good customer service uh, for the company very nice experience i think uh, it, it tells that yes reach out in case of uh, any any issues that you think you know it's it's misunderstanding and even if you are in a new country do not hesitate because you never know uh, you know what can surprise you it was definitely a fantastic experience with the company and uh, let me know if you can guess in the comment which company it is and i hope you will hit that subscribe button so that you can hear a lot of such stories about life in denmark and i will see you next friday with another video till then somebody please help me with here but till then take care and bye bye